So my friend just told me about a game called Viva Land, which is a Sims based game that is multiplayer. Now, if you have ever been obsessed with Sims, the Sims in your life, you will know that there's been a pretty big divide on whether multiplayer should be incorporated or not. I and many of my friends have always been on the side of give us multiplayer. So there's a new game, it's called Viva Land, and it seems to be like an Animal Crossing situation where you have your own space, but then you can visit friends and they can visit you. I don't know. I just found out about it today. We're going to watch the trailer video or whatever it is, and then play a little bit of the demo that they just released. So I figured I'd record it so we can see what it's all about. So first of all, let's watch this. At my seaside lot, I have the option to either choose a pre-built house or start building my dream house from scratch. Hey, why don't you come over to my lot? Sure, see you in a sec. Hi there. <laughs> Hello guys. It looks like it has Sims language too. Now, let's build and design the house together. Viva Land is all about freedom. We can move existing walls and create new curved oh, ones. Curved walls. Place objects pixel perfectly using the grid, or we can just turn it off and enjoy free placement. And who says color we have to wheel. stick to basic colors? Let's customize objects around us. Sometimes too much freedom can lead to some interesting choices. Like this pink extravaganza. <laughs> I think it's cute. No, not Life for me, but somebody would like that. Happens. I'll hang out with my friends Vivas, build relationships, stir up some drama, and maybe even break a few hearts. I wonder if you can play and if they're course, NPCs. I can't forget to take care of my Viva's needs. So if my Viva is craving or if you snack, have to why not do multiplayer? Some from my favorite I mean, I know you don't have to. After all, sharing is caring, right? Just don't get caught stealing. No one wants a criminal reputation in Viva Land. <laughs> the That's drama you. and the fun doesn't end here. Viva Land is constantly evolving with exciting features like career opportunities, skill building, and epic multiplayer events on the horizon. Viva Land is set to arrive on Steam in early access in 2024. Be sure to wishlist the game on Steam to join the adventure. <laughs> um yeah i guess my question is can you form relationships with npcs or is it just going to be uh multiplayer <clears throat> a life sim where one to eight players can craft their stories in mo a modern small town create unique characters steer their lives and careers let them breathe life into your unique town in viva land i mean it looks really cool welcome to viva land your escape from the hectic life up to to a charming small town that grows with you. Play solo or online co-op with up to eight friends. Craft characters, we call them vivas, with distinct personalities and create the story of their lives. Whether you're running a zero-waste coffee sh spot on the ground floor of your house, cultivating a vegetable garden on your rooftop, or making a living through your musical talents, you can contribute to the lively and green ecosystem at the heart of your town. Invite your friends vivas to be neighbors in your town or housemates on your lot and you can even start a family together. But if you prefer playing alone, don't worry. There are plenty of fun things to do solo in the game. There we go. Not that I prefer playing alone, but there are some times when I want to play by myself. Develop your Viva's talents and careers to unlock new possibilities for the whole town. Start your culinary career by opening a zero waste coffee spot on the ground floor of your house, a vegan cakery in your backyard, or even a full fledged restaurant. It's up to you what kind of chef you want to be. Is it? Because I'm feeling a lot of like, Vegan only? 
Try your hand at farming with a vegetable garden on your rooftop or print meat. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Town needs an engineer to function, repair the locals, cars and machines, invent useful or quirky gadgets for the community, or just have fun being a crazy scientist. Music connects us all. As a musician, you can form a band with Viva friends and play at a cafe or hide away from the public eye and perform in your own garden. Fall in love mutually or secretly develop a, cr a crush. One-sided feelings of Viva's allow realistic experience. Whether to befriend or hold a grudge against a neighbor is your choice. As more neighbors bring different careers, businesses, and skills, the town keeps growing and changing. If you want to have an impact on the town, start with yourself. Build your dream house. Create your dream with an advanced customization options. You'll take on the role of an architect or interior designer, turning your creative visions into reality. So we're going to apply. We're going to give the demo a try and see how it works. I hope it's not like ve vegan propaganda. Like, I mean, I don't have anything against vegans, but that seems like forcing people into a bubble, which is weird uh, for a game that's supposed to be about freedom. But... We'll see how it goes. So there's a join town option for the multiplayer, but we're gonna create a town. Um, and we're gonna call this Cultists Commune, which you will understand if you follow me on Twitch or have been part of my community. And if not, then this probably is gonna seem problematic and that's fine. <laughs> Viva Land is better together. Send your town, oh. All right, so like, let's start Seaside. Um, oh, that's nice. I, that seems like it's probably expensive. Um, I want to be where the people are. Sorry. Um, yeah, let's claim Sunset Villa. Welcome to build mode. Here you have the power to build your house the way you want. Get guidance from the grid and snap tools. Choose from many objects and surfaces to customize the structure and colors to match your style. Easy adjust position, rotation, curvature, and scale, or change the height of your walls. Play the tutorial and be guided through all the tools and steps to build your first home. If you prefer to skip for now, start it later from the help menu. So I've been playing The Sims all my life, it feels like, but I'm going to leave the tutorials on just so we can see how it guides us and like if anyone watching is not familiar with this kind of game. So building walls, select the wall tool from the house menu. Left click and hold on the ground to start placement, drag to the desired point and release to complete. Check out the different wall va variants, room walls to build a whole rooms with a few clicks, curved walls to build walls with curves. So I don't know what I want to build, but Let's start with a, we kind of want a backyard. Well, I guess the backyard could be like the side yard over here. Let's leave some room for a guard, like not garden, but some kind of. Landscaping along the edges. Um, yeah. Placed walls can be modified in many ways. Left click on it to adjust size, height or position turn the whole level into a foundation. To change the style, select a surface and left click on, on the wall to apply it. You can apply any color with, the custom, with custom paint. If you want to undo or delete something, look for the undo button and the hammer tool in the top menu. Turn invisible. Oh. Use it to separate floor or wall to give them a different surface. Invisible walls are ignored by object. So what's the Oh, I see, I see. Foundation, hammer. Okay, let's see, what kind of walls do we, well, let's do the outside walls and then we can figure out the inside as we go. Well, this is nice, industrial brick. It doesn't look industrial to me, it looks very pretty. Um, stacked stone, gothic chapel. Let's do gray brick. Did that do the whole, let me turn, let me rotate. Ah, right click. Okay, so it only did the one wall. Uh, ah. What about, can I 
I don't know if that worked. No. Okay. okay. I guess I should keep clicking on the placing floors. Once you've enclosed a room with walls, it will have a default floor. To customize it, select a surface from the floor category on the house menu. Okay. I don't think we want the floors to be the same the whole way, but just for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll do like a hardwood and then we'll change it later. Farm wooden planks. Give it a rustic look with farm planks. Sure. For different flooring in the same room, separate the area using visible walls. Ah. Adding doors and windows. Select the desired door or window from the house menu. Left click on the wall where you want to place it. All right. So we want to want doors here. Gothic framed glass double door. I don't know if I want to go gothic, but I feel like I want double doors because we have a double pathway here. Industrial black. Oh, it's not actually. Oh, that pathway is. It's actually three. No, like two and a half. Where? Oh, that's also not. So wait, even the, the single doors and the double doors are the same amount of space, sort of, almost. Um, let's do this, gothic. Well, it doesn't really go with my rustic look. Let's do wooden door. What was the other one that I saw? Industrial wooden door with window. Classical double door. Big country big door. What's country big door look like? Yeah, that'll work. Can I change the color of that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the okay. That's the handle. Got it. I don't know what's going on with the lighting, but I'm not a fan. What do we want to do for windows? Bathroom window. White open window. Not a lot of choices, but again, this is a like demo. So I'm not that surprised. Ooh, I like that. It's a big, big, big window. On the or on the front, and then let's do these on the side. Oh wait, we have. Oh, those are also really big windows. Um, tiny basic window. That's good. They're, these are huge windows, but I'm not upset about it. small house though so but it's fine we're getting some natural light no big deal That's a small bit small basic window is smaller than the tiny basic window which is interesting will this match i mean i guess it can match yeah let's just keep it the same bathroom like back there so it's to the tiny the small window that we're putting up there is it's gonna look kind of weird though with uh whoop, mm, with only one of these big windows over here uh can I do a cottage window also that looks weird for sure for sure about that yeah. What if we... Yeah, what if we get rid of this and we do cottage windows all around? I do like the like, uh, 
it telling you when it's centered or whatever. Not centered, but on the same level as the other ones. Okay, what we didn't do was pick an interior color for the walls. Um, this worn paint, no. Brown striped wallpaper. Does that look brown? It looks beige to me. It's fine, I guess. Um, I don't know how I feel about the dog barking incessantly <laughs> the whole time. Let's just go with neutral. What do you mean marble? It just looks like paint. Small mosaic. Green. We'll go with the brown striped wallpaper, I guess. So how do we... Definitely some buggy stuff going on with like the atmosphere. But again, this is early access demo type stuff, so... Not completely surprising. All right, so add it. Okay. We did doors and windows, placing roofs. Make sure you're on the last floor, which you can switch in the top menu. Okay, yeah, let's make a second floor. Country fence is the way it's gonna have to go because that kind of matches everything. Uh, no, we don't want we don't want it to block anything out because this is a, the balcony where we're gonna look out onto the yard or where the children are playing or whatever. I don't know. Now the playground's back there. Maybe there will be a pool over here. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Click a roof from the house menu, left click on the top of the wall to place it, adjust placement height or rotation using the arrow handles. You customize it with the surface options and you use left click to apply it. All right. Let's see, do we want, no, flat roof, open gable. I like hip roofs, 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 personally. the real question can I put 
Uh, they don't have round windows. Can I put a window up there, though? Oh, no. It's so sad. Even a small one? No. Oh, that's a bummer. But. Oh, well. Oh. Uh, this looks like it's. No, oh, no, that's how that's going to have to be. Oh, I don't like that, though. That hangs off on the sides like that. Can I ro- what does it look like if I rotate it? I don't know what's better. I mean, I don't know if I'm ready to furnish. Uh, do I want this to be all one open space is the question. Oh, I'm realizing you guys can't see. Okay. Where were we? So we can do outdoor stuff. This vertical garden. Oh. Wait, if we're going to have like a space out here, though, we kind of need a door, huh? <laughs> I guess we can put a, like a short, a uh, slim door there. Industrial white door with window. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Which also reminds me, we didn't create the, a path. Also, I feel like we need to make this door white since everything else is white. <laughs> All right, let's make a path from the front door. Industrial beige marble tile can i not what the f ah here we go oh interesting oh i don't know if you guys can see that it's like you can just go diagonal with it it's pretty cool um why does it look like it's diagonal even when... Okay, let's... let's try just from here... to here. Now, can I, what does this do? Oh, perfect. That's what I want. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, just like that. Thank you. Now, uh, how do, I kind of want to match this space out here, but like there's not really a good way to do that. Sandy rubble. Yes. Okay. Uh, not, it doesn't, it doesn't, there's a space. I don't think I can make it go out further. Nope. Oh, that's going to drive me bonkers. Also, it's a little crooked over here. Ah, okay. So I feel like it doesn't want me to keep doing this stuff because it wants me to go into like decorate mode, but I want to decorate my outside. So we don't have like outdoor things like pools and stuff yet. Um, so there's really no, I mean, I guess if, I, if we want a yard if, in case we have pets or whatever, so that's fine. Um, all right, let's go to decorate mode. Welcome to furnish mode. Here you have the power to furnish your home with the style you want and decorate it to your heart's content. Select from an array of furniture and decor and add your unique touch to every room. Customize, change colors and sizes to achieve your desired ambiance. Place, rearrange, and align objects, creating a fitting layer for each space. Your creativity knows no bounds in Viva Land. Um, so like The Sims, it looks like it has uh, where you can sort by room or, oh, well, maybe not. Uh, sort by uh, type, yeah, kind of rooms and surfaces. 
but there's also a search bar. We're gonna do the bathroom first because I'm not really sure how I want that laid out yet. Um, this like the half bath on the first floor. Um, and I want to put that there before I figure out how I want to close it off. So clean toilet. Sure. Laundry equipment. Actually, that's a good idea. Modern dryer, modern washing machine. Can I stack them? Come on, let me stack them. All right, it's fine. All of, it's all modern. Unless we do the retro, but you know. Okay, so we'll put the washer and dryer over here. Not like in the way of the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, Victorian sink, farmhouse sink. I feel like we're going for kind of a farmhouse vibe, so we'll stick with that. Uh, bathroom clutter. How about a mirror? Is there a mirror? Um, okay. Toilet paper roll, obviously important. Uh, simply laundry, ba simple laundry basket since this is doubling as a laundry room. Um, but if I use this one, can it go on top? Yes. Okay. Sort of. Mm, colliding with modern washing. That's like kind of the point. Why is it? Can I rotate you? <laughs> um, oh, I like that better actually. So do you want to rotate it? Because I want to be able to, oh, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to actually reach the, no. <laughs> what did I do? I shrunk it. Basket, bathroom set, hanging towel bar, hanging towel, hanging bathroom towel. What do you mean invalid placement? Where does it go then? Oh, that's like a, a big towel. We don't need a big towel. Hmm. Victorian bathroom hanger. Interesting. Ah, uh, here, 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 here. Hand towel. That's what I was looking for. Let me put it over here. Yeah. Oh, if we're doing farmhouse shake, we need the round wicker basket, actually. Um, laundry products. Come on, turn. Yeah, I like, like that. Um, why shoes? Can I put the pile of clothes in the basket? No. No, I don't want to do that. Uh... Vintage towel rack, bathroom set. Okay, I think we're good here. All right. Okay. What do we want the bathroom floor? Gray floor tiles? Yeah. And then we need uh this on the outside. And we need a door. 
cottage white door, basic door, wooden door. Two wooden doors on the inside. This over here is probably going to be like the living room. And then, oh, or will this be the living room? And that would be the kitchen. Go back in here and we're going to find kitchen. All right. Country kitchen bottom corner. Country kitchen bottom variation. Country kitchen bottom big. Okay. I do like the whole, like the, all of the country. Okay, let's do the corner first. Though. That's probably... Colliding. Wait, oh, we turned off the grid. Why is it doing that? Okay. All right, so... I know it's blood. Turn it. How do I turn? The whole point of a... So this is my first complaint. I want to build my kitchen and it doesn't like snap automatically. Oh wait, no, I turned that back on, didn't I? On, on, okay. So what goes next to bottom big or the corner that's not lighting with wall? Hmm. So the dishwasher can go there, but it's not facing the right way. Okay. Sure. Now, is this window going to be a problem, I wonder? Um, Country kitchen sink. Lighting with the window. That's really annoying, actually. Hold on. Because I don't think we can make this window higher. Like we can, but not really. All right, we'll get, we'll figure out a window situation after, after we're done with the kitchen. Okay. Now, can you go over here now or? How do I rotate without Putting it down first. Yeah, I guess we can't. All right, whatever. What else do we got? Country angle, country top. So once again, we've got an issue where I think the window. So why is that window okay? Why is it invalid placement? I don't want to put an angled one not in the corner. All right, so we're already seeing some of <laughs> the frustration, um, but I'm gonna, I'm giving it, I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's see, does it change if I remove that window? I mean, sort of. There we go. Yep. Okay. So biggest issue for me so far is that it seems like. Um, the windows get in the way of like, but I don't think you can change the size of the windows like you can in The Sims. Let me see. No, doesn't look like it. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how to fix that because now we have like no light here. Um, is that that's probably running into this and we could just go there for right now um yeah because that's fine okay so 
duplicate this and put that there and put you back here and we just won't have a top cabinet for that one. Oh wait, I forgot about the small one. Hold on. So this doesn't actually, it doesn't actually go. Like it does, but it's not, it doesn't snap. So I don't know. I don't know if we want to keep it or not. I think I'm going to do actually only one of those on either side. So it's like that. The cabinets have to be on the wall or is that not? Oh. So it was only the case for, can we actually turn to the... You know that I'm not trying to do that, right? Like, whatever. To the gate. No, no, no. No. All right. Oh, I don't like the way it looks in the back. <laughs> What else do we need in this kitchen? Toaster. Um, retro microwave. Here's a question. Can I? Yep. Okay. Also, let's pick any color but that. Oh, God. It's fine. And... Coffee maker. All right. What is kitchen clutter? Wait, hold on. Trash can. Very few options, but okay. And kitchen clutter. All right. So, question. Can I put a stack of plates? Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. Cool. Can I put them in? Can I, like, can I open the cabinet and put stuff in there? No. Kind of a bummer, but we will live. Mug tree should go. Come on. All right. So here's where we're turning this off because. No, oh, no. And this. Because I want the mug tree to be by the coffee maker, obviously, you know? Um, Napkin holder. That's, that looks kind of like a paper towel holder, but I'll forgive it. Mm -hmm. Let's place on a wall. <clears throat> Unfortunate because my stove is over there. Okay. Metal tray, wooden tray. Hold on. No, this, this could work. Let's put wooden tray here. Can we put things like... Before we get to that, let's do farm jars. Can these be a different color? Yep. Those are probably not the same, but it's fine. Put the tea set here, and then whatever this little thing was. Why can't I select it now? Nope. Definitely not what I was going for. Hi. Uh, yeah. There we go. The dining room one. Well, we have table and chairs. We have stools. Yes. Uh, do we have stools? Is that what we're calling? Stools, I guess. Those are very, like, low stools. Not really sit at a counter stools, but well, I'll do it. Whatever. I guess this isn't really the kind of counter you sit at anyway. But... I'm about to, like, ruin my whole day.
cool. Kind of cluttered back there, but that's fine. Now, let's go back to the stool situation. They're just very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Low and also, you know, it doesn't matter. Okay, so whatever. <laughs> um, that's that's a kitchen. Now that I think about it, the bathroom maybe should go under the stairs. Oh, I just like literally made these invisible without meaning to. I didn't know that I could do that. That's pretty cool. What? Okay, it like... That's not what I was going for. Also, what happened to my windows? Hello? Uh, hello? What? <laughs> that shouldn't happen. Okay, there's... There's some more feedback for you. Uh, what? All my doors and windows disappeared. And when I knocked down or tried to knock down a wall, it knocked down. It like deleted a whole bunch of stuff, not just the wall. So that's interesting. Um, I really hope that was like a fluke. And when I'm finished doing what I'm doing here, the windows and stuff come back. But not feeling super confident about it personally We lost like it like extended the wall over here removed a bunch of stuff um now we lost doors oh my god what definitely an issue doesn't look like undo does anything um so yeah that's that sucks okay can we save or does it auto save okay it does say it auto saves let's go back to the town view and see if we go back to the house if it like fixed that because that's crazy i'm gonna go with a no based on the fact that i can see the cabinets hanging out Hopefully they fix stuff like this for now. I don't think I can play anymore with it as it is, because if I do a whole bunch of stuff like that, like an hour and a half of building and that's all that I've done so far, barely scratched the surface and undid a whole bunch of work just by deleting a wall and I can't get it back. So, uh, yeah, so that's going to be all for this for now. And then Hopefully there are some updates that fix problems like this. And maybe at some point I'll do a different lot and see if the same thing happens or if this was just a fluke. But for now, we're going to end it here. And uh, yeah, looking forward to updates because it seems cool, but I I'm not going to really have any opinion on that until I try out the multiplayer or can see more of the actual in-game like life stuff. So for now, very Sims-like but a lot of major issues that are going to make it difficult to play until it's in a better state. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this game as things are updated, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!